Hi folks, um, I've been getting a couple of requests to do an overview of some of my recently acquired ocarinas. Now some of these ocarinas, I haven't used them in a video yet because um, I've only got them not long ago and I haven't been making that many videos due to being overworked with school and work. Um, so to start us off, I'll give you a look of my new Focalink Plastic Out OC. I gotta say, I was very impressed with the Focalink 12 hole Alto C. Um, it's the best plastic 12 hole I've used so far. Um, and compared to some of the other 12 holes I've used, such as uh, Noble Plastic, um, the Focalink company has done very well to make the high notes sound as stable as the low notes. And the tuning is great, um, it's tough, and it's very well designed. Uh, the next uh, ocarina I'll talk about is the TNG Plastic Triple Ocarina. Um, I gotta say, um, I was expecting a bit more from the plastic triple. Uh, it's, I mean, for what you pay for it, it's quite cheap if you buy from Ted's Doremi eBay store. It's very cheap, so I guess I can't be too fussy about it, but I find that the highest notes of the first chamber tend to get very airy after about, after a minute or so of playing because the condensation builds up, and it's so bad in my case that the notes become completely unplayable. So when I'm playing these um, triple ocarina range songs, when I'm switching chamber from the first chamber to the second chamber, it just goes from airy to notes. So um, it's not one I find practical to perform with or play for very long, but I guess you get what you pay for and it works as a plastic triple. Now, um, I also got the new, um, well, I got, I got myself the Focaling Triple Ocarina. Now, this is the regular Triple Ocarina from Focaling. And uh, i got to say, I really love how it sounds. The tone is very balanced in all three chambers, in my case. And 
It's not as dynamic as the other triple ocarinas I've used, such as the Forte Triple or the Maparam, but I think the sort of balanced sort of tone can come in handy for certain kinds of music. And, um, oh yes, this is my recently acquired Rotter Ocarina. Mr. Hans Rotter from Germany made it for me. It's a Alto F, or as Sigifer would like me to call it, a Tenor F. Uh, it has a very mellow, rich tone, and it's my first um, European Ocarina. It has a very interesting sort of glaze. Um, I'm not really sure what he did here, but it's, it has a very rustic, sort of very crude sort of appearance to it. Oh yes, uh, this is my new little favorite. It's a Panch Auto C Ocarina. Um, Panch made this for me a couple of months ago, and um, some of my recent videos, or actually I think just one video, the Blessing Song video, uses this ocarina, and it's a it's a very well how to describe it. It's a very 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 well made ocarina. It's compact in size, it's very comfortable, it's got these sub-hole grooves which are very easy to close and it has a fabulous sound across this entire range. A very crisp, bold sound. Um, I haven't heard from Panch in a while. Uh, he hasn't been coming online and uh, and uh, people have been having trouble keeping in touch with him. So I don't know what he's been up to, but hopefully we'll hear from him again soon and these ocarinas will be available. And uh, I'm sure they'll be a great hit. Oh, well, that's it for now and um, I hope I'll be able to get back to you by making some more music videos. Good night!